right, so in Nova Bench, the Dell Precision 5510 got a score of, it got a CPU score of 833. And to put that into more context, my Intel Core i7 4770K got a CPU score of 866, which basically tells us that these two processors, the Xeon and the i7 desktop CPUs are both pretty similar in terms of those things. In Geekbench, let's see here what I have typed down because there's a lot of things to keep in mind of. Uh, so in Geekbench, it got a single core score of 4,274 and a multi-core score of 13,634. And that also puts it somewhere in between the i5s and the i7s and the GTX 760s and the 960s, which is great for this small of a laptop. All right, now let's get into some Cinebench and see how that performs. So for the processor, of course, it's the Intel Xeon CPU E31505M uh, at 2.81 gigahertz. It has four cores and eight threads in hyper-threading. <clears throat> and it's running Windows 10, but this, but it was uh, configured with Windows 8. It's of course 64-bit, and the Quadro M1000M uh, Quadro GPU is installed. Now let's uh, first of all let's run the CPU test. All right, so let's begin the Cinebench R15 benchmark with a CPU benchmark. So run that, and it will start rendering out a picture. <clears throat> so let's just wait for this to render out and see what score we get in the Dell Precision 5510, which is a very expensive laptop, but it does have about the same performance as other desktop PCs have, and this is a laptop, so that's very, very interesting to see. Last bit here. And it puts itself right below the i7-4770K and right above the i7-3770. That is a great score because that literally means that this will have the same amount of rendering score as pretty much an i7-4770K or the i7-3770, which is very interesting to see. Alright, now let's get into some... Uh, GPU benchmark, so that's OpenGL. Let's load that up and see how this performs. Now, please, guys, do remember that this PC is, of course, running everything in 4K, 3840 by 2160 resolution. So that may have a bit of a difference in performance compared to 1080p. So it's basically just rendering out this car sequence in Cinema 4D. Right, so that car goes to the side and explodes as usual. And this guy parks up here and there's the Cinema 4D logo, perfect. And that puts us at a very, very interesting score. Amongst the top in the MOBA Quadro GPUs, which is very interesting to see. Take a look at this. Our Quadro M1000 got, us, got a, an average FPS, I believe, of 88. 96 and the Quadro K4000M got a score of 67.71. That is very interesting. Now let's get into some more, uh, some more practical things um, like video editing because I know a lot of people who purchase this laptop is gonna use it for video editing and so am I. So we are going to be opening a Sony Vegas Pro 13. Let that open. And as you can see, the timeline is very smooth. If we play it, everything is smooth and as it's supposed to be. No stuttering, etc. Now let's render this and then we will of course choose our 4K. And that is of course 3840 by 2160 in 25 FPS. And we are gonna start it by, by rendering with only the CPU and then we will see if there's a difference between rendering with only the CPU and the CUDA cores 
and then also OpenCL. So let's begin with the CPU and I'll be right back. All right, so we are nearing completion in about 10, 15 seconds or so. And that leaves our final, final time about 24 minutes. Let's see. Yeah, it's done in exactly, in exactly 24 minutes. All right, now let's test the exact same thing, but let's, let's um, uh, do this, render as, and let's, instead of this, let's choose in, uh, to render using CUDA if available. So, okay. So we had 24 minutes before, now it's gonna be rendering with CUDA as well.